Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working With Todoist series. My name is Carl Pauline and this week it's all about processing your inbox and grouping tasks that are similar in nature or topic. Now this is really all about becoming more effective and more efficient with your inbox but it's also a little bit more subtle than that. It's more about making sure that your inbox tasks as you process them are much more meaningful when they do pop up on your today list. Now before we go any further I would just like to say if you do get any value from this video then please help me by clicking on that like button below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to get all the latest tips, tricks and news on using Todoist, then please subscribe to my channel. Okay, let me take you into my Todoist demo account now and I'll show you a few little simple tricks that you can use to really help you process that inbox. Righty then, so let's have a look at a typical inbox or what I imagine to be a typical inbox. Now there's a couple of things that I want to draw your attention to. The first is the action verb that begins each task here. Now this is something that you really want to get it to turn into a habit simply because when you're dumping stuff into your inbox you're trying to rush things in then you move to something else and then you move back and then you move to something else and at the end of the day you go back into your inbox and there'll be tasks in there that you just have no idea what they mean. So it's worth actually spending a, a couple of extra seconds to make sure you have the correct action verb in. So we've got call, email, work on, send, buy, confirm, buy, call Tim, organize, find, book and look into. So those are some really good action verbs. They tell me what the task involves. But the next thing I really want to show, and this is like the big part of what this uh, video is about, is these tasks here. So what we're looking at is we've got some common themes going on here. So, for example, here, call Steve about speakers for seminar, work on slides for seminar, and I probably have here, I think, yeah, call Max Kalper, uh, confirm Max Kalper as a speaker for seminar. So, I've got three tasks here related to a seminar. So, what I'm going to do, when I see something like that, I'm going to add a task and call it, like, next month's seminar. So now notice that I have no action verb here and that's deliberate. I'm going to put add that task and I can just make it easier for myself. I'm just going to drag it up to the top, uh, cancel that. And then now I've got these tasks. I can just drop them in here and all I'm doing is dragging and dropping. So I'm dragging them in and just moving it slightly to the right. And what's happening is you'll see here, I'm now creating a sub task. So I'll go down here and look for the other one because I know there's another one in here. Uh, confirm Max Kalper. So I'm going to drag that into here. Now what I've got is I've got a recurring task. What I'm going to do is click on that and that now brings me up these sub tasks. Now within this I can now reorganize these. I can say well I need to confirm Max Kalper very soon. So I'm going to do that at the top. Uh, I need to call Steve about speakers for the seminar and I need time to work on the slides myself that I'm going to present at the seminar. And now I can go through and I can actually date these if I wish. But I don't normally do that. What I prefer to do is say this is going to become, there's going to be lots of little tasks that are going to get added to this over the next two weeks. So what I would do is I'm going to type in this uh, every uh, month. Uh, and I think if I can do it this way fr to Friday, um, so it repeats every workday, as you can see right here, for two weeks. Okay, so what I've done is every Monday to Friday for two weeks. So this is going to go from the 30th of April to the 14th of May. So it's not going to come up on Saturday and Sunday. It's only going to come up for two weeks and it's going to repeat every work day. Now, that's all I'm doing here. So every Monday to Friday for two weeks. So Friday the 30th of April to Friday the 14th of May. And that's going to repeat automatically for me. So once I've done that, I can just hit the return. It's going to come up today because today is a Friday. 
And then I can now drop that into my this week folder. Uh, and that's great. So what I wouldn't do is I'm not going to actually do add a date to these tasks. This is going to come up every day and I know then there's going to be tasks in there. It saves me having to mess around with different tasks. I can just drop tasks into this task, this parent task, and it just makes life easier. It's a short-term project and it works. Now, the only other thing I would do is I want to check this every morning. So I'm going to hit the priority two because the priority two flag for me is a morning task. And that's really all I have to do. I can now just drop that into next week and that is done. What you'll see now is I've now gone down, I've removed a lot of these tasks. Now, let's just say that I have a large number, uh, I notice another one here that I've got uh, like, oh, let's have a look at it. Does call Tim, does he want old refrigerator? Organize script for skip for garage cleanup. Store, find storage boxes for garage. I'm thinking, ah, and look into getting a remote garage door opener. So that means that I've obviously got a task or a project that I am working on probably means clearing up the, the garage. So what I'm going to do is... Um, 20, I'm going to make it a big event. So 2021 spring clean. Uh, oh, let's, let's make this a little bit more English. So uh, garage spring clean. So now I've created the parent task again. And all I need to do is I can just drag and drop these like you can see here. Uh, and I'm going to drag organize skip. Yeah, I need to do that. So I'm going to put that one in there. Find storage boxes. Yep, I'm going to drag that one in there. And does call Tim? Yeah, that's because there's an old refrigerator in there. Maybe he wants that. And just double check to see if I've got anything in there. Nope, that's done. And again, what I'm going to do is click on the main task. And again, what I'm probably going to want to do is see this every Saturday. So I'm going to type in every Saturday uh, for one month. So let's just say this is my project for May. So every Saturday for one month. And that's just going to come up every Saturday. And I'm going to, uh, that's all I do, hit return. So I've got the dates in there. Tomorrow is a Saturday. I'm again, I'm going to put that into my this week folder, simply because this is going to come up every Saturday. So it may as well be in this week. And again, I'm going to give that uh, actually, I don't use labels, so I'm going to flag that one as a priority two. So that's going to come up again every Saturday morning. And all I have to do is look at these this task. I don't need to date these. I can look at these and decide which one I'm going to do. So probably what I'm going to do is uh, <laughs> is maybe I'll see something. Now, this is an interesting one. Organize skip for the garage cleanup. Now, I will see this and think, right, that's something I need to do next week. So, <clears throat> so this task, I'm going to actually add a date and I'm going to say, let's call the company on Monday. So I'll add that one for Monday and that is going to give me that task for Monday. And I'm going to do that Monday afternoon. So I'm going to give that a P3 flag and that's done. So sometimes you do need to date. And by the way, if you do go into a task like this, you can always click on there and take you back to the main task. So to get that kicked off, because this is my May project, if you like, I can look at organize skip for garage cleanup. Call Tim, does he want the old refrigerator? Well, when this comes up tomorrow, that's something that I will do tomorrow. So I'm going to call Tim. I don't need to date that because I'm going to see this task tomorrow. But this is something that isn't going to come up on Saturday and I need to do it on Monday so I can actually clear out the garage. So now when I've got something like this, what I would actually do is, okay, I'm going to need several hours for this on next weekend. So first of all, I'd probably... Uh, I would possibly create a task, but you don't need to. I would just go to my calendar now and just block off four or five hours on Saturday for clearing out the garage, assuming that the skip comes out. So what I could do is organize skip for garage cleanup for, oops, for Saturday. Um, and that's, I don't need to do that. So that what I'm going to do is just save that. Uh, you can put the date in if you wish, but it's going to be pretty obvious when I see that. Whoops, where have I gone? Uh, let's go back to this week. I've come out of that. Um, da, 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 da. Uh, ba, 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 ba. It's probably down at the bottom somewhere. Um, okay, what I can do is, by the way, here's an interesting one. I can't find that task. So I'm just going to go into the search, type in gar garage. Gar uh, 21, and then I can just tap on that. 
and it will bring me back to the task. So there's a quick tip for you. If you lose a task like that, I know it's actually in this week folder, but I can go looking through that. But this week's now got 33 tasks in it. So it took a while to find it. So you can go into search and find those. So there you go. That's the one way of doing that. So once I click out of that and go back to my inbox, I've now reduced my inbox down from about 15 tasks already down to just five remaining tasks. And they are very clear. I'm making decisions. So now I've got another one here where I see buy new tires, book car in for service. Those two could be done together. So I could do a car service. Um, again, I'm just going to create it like that. I'm not using an action verb. Add the task and I can just do this. Now, I probably wouldn't do this because this is really quite simple. But, you know, it just gives you an idea of what you can do. And I've got here book car in for service. So again, I might add a date for that and just arrange it for Friday. But that's just something that you can do. I'm not sure when I'm going to do that. I really don't have time next week. So I'm just going to drop that into next week. I will see that when it comes up. And then finally, we've got these little ones here, which just need email Jenny about next conference. And you can just move that thinking, okay, that needs to be done on Monday. So again, I'm going to click on that, do that on Monday, blah, 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 Monday the 3rd. Uh, how important is it? Ooh, it's going to be fairly important. So it needs to be done this week. And I'm going to flag that as P2 because that's going to be an important. So that's done. Send mechanical keyboard back. Now, these are the kind of tasks that actually, and this one here, these kind of things tend to hang around and just never get done. And this is why I generally would, if I find that I've got one like this that gets kicked off week after week after week, all I would do is I would create a task and say uh, office cleanup. Clean up like that again, and I'm just going to drag these into here. And I'm going to basically just have this come up as a little reminder every week. So, again, Saturday is usually the day when I would do things like this. So, I'm going to go click into here and I'm going to schedule that for every Saturday, um, oop, oop, every Sat for four weeks. So again, I'm just going to make that a month a t task in May because when I do that, it's sort of like giving me that incentive to get these things done. Uh, so that's done. Hit return. And I'm just going to do again. It's going to go into this week because it recounts as this week. And I'm going to flag that one as a P2. And then that's it. Now, the beauty of this is that let's say we're going to upcoming now. Let's go to Saturday. And what you'll find with these ones, like I will see this when I do my daily planning. So on Friday, when I do my daily planning, I can go into here and I can say, OK, what do I need to do in the garage this week? I'm thinking, OK, the skip is coming this week, so I now need to and it will be in my calendar. So that's pretty much what I all I have to do. I can look at uh, my other ones that I've got in here. So uh, where are we? Uh, bu, 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 bu. Office cleanup. I can go in there. What do I need to do? Oh, buy a new speaker for office. I'm going to do that. But this needs doing. Okay, so this now needs to be done on a working day. So when I see that, I can just click into here. I can schedule that for, let's do it on Monday. And I'm going to do that Monday afternoon. So I'm going to prioritize three. And that's done. Again, I don't need to change anything because it's already in this week. If I go now to next week and look at Monday, I don't have the whole task. I just have the actual organized skip for garage cleanup, send mechanical keyboard back. And if I check that off, let's say I've done that now and I go back to my this week. So let's just do type in here and show you how to do it. garage. Um, so I've checked it off. And, whoops, why isn't it done? I'm going to go back into here. Um, Organize skip because uh, it hasn't done so. I'm going to check that off. It disappears from there. Let's go into here and tap on that and tap on that. And you'll notice that it is already gone from this task. So it's really useful way of grouping your similar tasks together that can really help you to manage those work that work and those little mini projects that need doing rather than just creating a long list of project lists which just get ignored this is going to be right in my face every Saturday so there you go hopefully that's given you some ideas of how you can manage your work I hope you found this useful thank you very much for watching and it just remains for me now to wish you all a very very productive week <laughs>